milk and the high milk. Um, what is that? And uh, how do I get more fatty milk? Um, well, again, this comes back to if we follow things uh, on nature's way of doing things, you'll, you'll find that you're, you're, you're going to have enough uh, high milk. So people talk about full milk, high milk being full milk being this sort of more watery uh, milk and the high milk being the full fatty, creamy milk. Um, and that is kind of true, but it only really comes into play that uh, defined if you are probably spacing your feeds out for long periods of time between. Uh, so if you picture your old fashioned glass milk bottle and uh, it's on your doorstep, you would find you'd have your uh, milk and then at the top you'd have a load of cream that would rise to the top. And that's kind of what it's like with breast milk if you're not feeding frequently. So if the milk is just sitting unused in your breast, the fatty bits tend to sort of rise back up the ducts. And so when baby starts to feed, they get more watery milk and then they have to feed for, a, you know, a, until you get a good letdown and then you'll start getting the fattier milk coming through. And this is where the full milk, high milk thing comes from. But if you are feeding very frequently, you know, every couple of hours, that is less so. And the, the fattier milk is more sort of just there. So you might start off with a bit of full milk, but very quickly you're going to get a lovely mixed up mixture of fatty milk. And so the best thing to do to make sure your baby's getting that lovely fatty milk is to, guess what, feed more often. And if you keep feeding frequently, your baby will get a lovely mixture of fore and hind milk.